I'm just crossing my fingers. Today is the day that I graduate. I have paid a lot of money for that course. Okay. We faced a lot of problems. <coughs> oh my goodness, so we said, stuff it. Get out of here. Shaking like leaves. <laughs> he actually called me a dude. He's shifty. He's shifty as hell. Hello, everyone. I am at the airport and it's almost empty now. Why am I at the airport? I'm at the airport because I'm going to Brisbane and I'm going to Brisbane because I have a graduation coming on, which is tomorrow. I'm traveling at night. I have to go all the way to Brisbane to graduate because I have been waiting for almost one and a half years to graduate. I mean, like I have to travel that far because if I don't, then that means I have to wait for four more months to graduate in Melbourne. Uh, this is crazy, but I mean, it was an opportunity to travel to another state. It's an excuse. I mean, who doesn't want to travel? I've already got on my boarding pass. I'm heading now to uh, my flight so that I can wait. It's been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming. COVID has brought us a lot of miseries and inconveniences. There was an opportunity to graduate in a different campus, a different state, a different city. So since I've been waiting, I thought it would never come. Although my graduation is scheduled to happen in Melbourne in two months time, I figured out, well, <laughs> that might not work out well because there might be another outbreak and then it might be postponed again. So I decided to grab this chance to go all the way to Brisbane to do this thing, man, because I mean, I have paid a lot of money for that course and uh, I can't keep waiting anymore. So I'm going, even though uh, just today they announced that where I'm heading, there's been two COVID cases. So I'm hoping that by tomorrow things uh, do not get worse because I don't want to get there and then my graduation is postponed again. So I'm just crossing my fingers. But for now, I'm trying to be so excited because I've been waiting for this for a long time. So I'm going. I will see you there. I will see you in Brisbane. Good morning everyone. I just woke up. Uh, today is the day. Today is the day that I graduate. There's not much excitement because it looks very gloomy outside. According to the weather, it's going to be raining here. So that's not very good news. But anyway, away from the weather, we got here very late because oh, we faced a lot of problems. <coughs> First of all, the airport. Now, let me tell you what happened because I wasn't even able to uh, talk to you about this because there's a lot of things we were going through and there was no time to record stuff that was happening so what happened is that apart from the fact that we had to pay for extra luggage which was very expensive we ended up regretting why we didn't even pay for a different airline that accommodated our luggage at first because we ended up paying even more to cut the story short we got here at around 11 pm now this is something that i never knew that the airport closes at some point <laughs> It's not 24 hours operational. It was really empty, like it was very empty. We were the only people walking along the corridors. That means that there's not much taxis and, and Ubers and whatever. So we got out of the airport and we had booked a car for rent and we headed to the rental place. Now, surprise, surprise, disappointment 101, the rental place was closed. No, God, please, no, no. Oh my goodness, we've never been disappointed. So that meant we had to look for an alternative to get to the hotel. Ah, so we went to another rental company that was open, but they were too expensive. So we said, no, we had already booked a car for rent. So, and it was way cheaper than what these guys were offering. So we said, stuff it. Get out of right here, man, shit. <laughs> we will come for it tomorrow. We ended up trying to catch an Uber so that we can go back for the car that we had booked for today, this morning, before my graduation. My graduation is in the afternoon, by the way. We ended up getting an Uber and because we are five and we had a lot of suitcases, like we are moving completely away from uh, Victoria to Queensland, uh, we requested an XL extra large Uber. And then, ah, uh, when I checked my phone, it's ordered a Toyota Prius. I was like, since when is a Toyota Prius an XL car? 
All right, so I was a little bit worried. I was not at ease. I called the guy and told him, hey, are you able to accommodate like 10 suitcases? And he said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm able to carry 10 suitcases. Uh, I said, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let's wait for him. And then uh, about another minute gone by, he texts me and says, how many are you? Five people and each person is carrying two suitcases. He said, oh, I'm not able to carry all of you. Okay, what the... You just told us that, first of all, you are in XL category. Since when is a Toyota Prius an XL? I said you're not supposed to be in XL. That is deceiving people because it seems like this guy just said himself as XL. That means that he gets more money, even if it's not an XL car. So I told him, hey, uh, your car shouldn't be an XL. So this is a bit dodgy. You are being shifty. After telling us that he can't transport us, he said that I should cancel. We know what that means. It means that if I cancel, I get charged for canceling. Yet he's the one who stuffed it up. So I said, no, I'm not canceling, dude. Cancel. Okay, I'm saying dude here because he actually called me a dude. The evening couldn't get any better. He was calling me a dude. I said, all right, let's go with dude. I, I refused to cancel. He said, I don't have that option. I said, well, everyone has that option, dude. So I refused to cancel. I said, okay, we play the game. I waited for him to cancel. He waited for me to cancel. I was going to report this guy to Uber and then he was going to lose his job. He's shifty. He's shifty as hell. We waited and then guess what happened? He started the trip. The trip had begun like we are now on the way to the hotel, which wasn't true. We were still outside the airport very cold shaking like leaves <laughs> waiting for something to happen he started the trip like he was heading to the hotel without us <laughs> i said okay now this is worth reporting like this justifies reporting any doubts that i had before about reporting him like making him lose his job was gone i said okay this guy i'm gonna report him and then you know guess what he texted me and said, Oh, sorry, I started the trip by mistake. Yeah, right, he started the trip by mistake. And then he ended the trip. And then I ended up being charged $9. I said, okay, okay, now this is reporting. Okay, I'm going to report this one. And he's going to lose his job. I hate when it gets to that point. I don't like it when it gets to that point. But this guy was playing too much. He refunded the money. I said, all right. Well played. I am the one, the way your son don't need a Well played. You get to live another life. You get to see another day in your job, man. Dude. <laughs> Ended up getting two taxis and yay. This guy was speaking Swahili. Like he's a Somali, but he's lived in Kenya. Like he was living in Kenya. He's a Kenyan citizen. You know what I'm saying? In, and you'll, his home is in Garissa. So we chatted away in Swahili. You know how that feels? For those who are familiar with this, you're in a foreign country and you find someone who speaks your language, like a stranger who speaks your language. It's a good feeling. We got to the hotel. This is where I am right now. Just woken up. Time to get ready uh, for the day. So let me just show you the room because I mean, I was too tired to do anything when I got here. I just wanted to crash. So yeah, let me show you my room and then we will get ready. Okay, so as you walk in the door, uh, just at the door, there is a coffee machine there and then there's a kettle. And then underneath the whole thing, I think there's a fridge. So this fridge is very tiny. I've never seen such a tiny fridge. Sure. So there's a few items inside. There's sodas and then there's uh, orange juice and apple juice and then there's sparkling water and a bottle of wine. I don't think I'll be consuming any of that. So there's a hallway here and that's leading to the bedroom. Or on your right, there is a door that's leading to the toilet. Or you can just go through the toilet to the bedroom. Same thing. And in the bathroom, this is a this is a mirror. It's a quite big. It's a large one. Uh, that is a bathroom there. And then uh, this is the closet. I'm supposed to put your clothes there if you're here. For, I don't think I need to do that because I'm not going to be here for a long time. And then there's a few drawers here. Let's see what it has. So here, there's a few things. If you have laundry, you can put your stuff here. And then I think you're supposed to record whatever fabric you have so that they don't lose your stuff. And then here, 
this is uh, a safe you have a safe here you have your valuable jewelry or something that you really want to keep it safe this is the place to put and then on the third drawer is an iron box here uh, so yeah it has all the basic stuff and then on this other side there is a blow dryer machine and then towels and then i like this bathroom it's easy to maneuver along it's a nice and tight room it only accommodates two people but it's not as good as other high agency hotels because high agency is supposed to be a five-star hotel in my opinion i don't think this meets those standards because there's hotels like Meriton hotels that I've gone to and it's not ranked as high as a high agency hotel but it's way better than this so so I think this is just an old one still maintains the name you know it has some old vibe to it it has an old school vibe to it which is still good for the people who like that you know vintage kind of look this is a tv which i haven't used so it has some uh, information about the hotel and then uh, this is the bed don't worry that's my stocking i covered my head with it at night but it didn't make it to the morning because i don't cover my head usually but i decided to cover to keep my hair intact because of uh, my graduation today but it didn't even make it to the morning and then uh, there's a telephone there and then a bedside lamp there's a bedside lamp on the other side too I don't know what that is but it looks like canvas picture of a bridge maybe here in, in Brisbane then there's a very tiny coffee table there which will do because it f just everything here just fits the room the size of the room so if you came for business there's a table here for you there's also a lamp there for you to do your job so don't worry about the mess i very really very tired and i just wanted to crash so generally it's a good room i don't mind it but i don't think it's worth the money that we paid for because you know we were paying for hired regency hotel i don't think this meets the standards of uh, hired regency we expected better we expected a lot better this is my view here down there i think we are around the middle of the building the building is quite tall we are around the middle somewhere so that's a swimming pool and the reason why i'm saying that it's a bit old school is because most new buildings they have their swimming pools at the rooftop this is another reason why i'm saying i think it has an old school vibe to it that is brisbane city part of it this side of the window I'm supposed to be respectful. <laughs> I am supposed to be official. Oh. I'm not supposed to be sexual. So the question is, are you? Am I what? So you just said you are supposed to. So are I'm you? not supposed to look sexy. I'm supposed to be looking smart. So do you look smart? I don't know. You tell me.
good morning um it's the morning after my graduation i didn't get to do much yesterday since i was very busy with the graduation thing so i didn't get to update you about how that went so i'm here now to tell you exactly what happened because yesterday was a roller coaster we were met with a lot of disappointments today we had planned to stay here in queensland for six days but sadly our trip has been cut short we are planning to go back uh, to melbourne today because when we traveled here queensland had two cases of covid and we didn't think it's anything to worry about so we came here we were planning to graduate i was supposed to graduate on tuesday which i ended up doing now my friend was supposed to graduate on wednesday in the morning yesterday there were two more cases of covid in queensland so their premier is usually very quick at reacting to that and she ended up locking down the place for three days so as a result i just made it to graduate but my friend couldn't because her graduation had to be cancelled because of the lockdown that was very sad we weren't very happy. I just ended up feeling bad because I mean, we had all these plans after graduation. We had uh, plans to graduate also, you know, both of us. Things just ended up being in disarray. Now we have to, there's no point of, we could stay if you want to, but there's no point because what's the point of staying indoor in a hotel for three days without going anywhere. So we are packing today, we are leaving, we are going back to Melbourne. We had paid for the hotel for six days, but we are getting our refund for the rest of the days that we were supposed to stay here. Also we hired a car and clearly we're not going to be using it, so we'll return it and we'll get a refund for that as well yeah so time to go back to melbourne before that yo let me tell you there was a bit of drama yesterday morning because you know i told you we arrived here late so we didn't have time to check everything and when we woke up in the morning my friend calls me from the other room and tells me i'm not happy i am frustrated i'm depressed what is happening and she said well i got out of my bed opened the window to see a wall looking at me when we booked the rooms we wanted a good view Apparently, we had requested to be put on the same floors, first and foremost. When we got here, we were not on the same floors. Yeah, that is unfortunately the room, unfortunately. That is what you booked on Wookiee.com. Our wishes were not met. My friend was on fire. Oh, why is it that I, I didn't get that when I called them? That is, ma'am, whatever you booked is what you've got, is what I'm trying to say. She wanted a good view. Uh, we had signed up for a good view. She asked to speak to the manager. Are you, are you the manager? we went back and forth oh they asked us if we were interested in looking at other rooms to see if we would like the view in other rooms if they want to go higher floor we can do that above more than 12 floor but won't be a river view we ended up doing that for a long time you know going from one room to another until you know we felt like we were going to get late for the graduation eventually we ended up doing nothing about it because we couldn't even be bothered after hearing the lockdown news everything else became irrelevant so we had to deal with the bigger issues first our trip was cut short like this sad yeah sad well it is what it is 